It's all changed with Victor Machine Tools here in the UK. I'm at their new home, GM CNC. Joe, welcome to GM CNC. Um, you've been here, well, you tell us how long? Um, yeah, I literally, I've joined uh, 7th of December, so um, warmed into Christmas and then, yeah, start off the new year. And what's your role for, for our audience? What do you do here? Um, so I'm an area sales representative. Um, um, yeah, so sales on the new Victor machines. Um, You're also, covering the whole of the country at the moment, is that your territory? Yes, at this moment, yeah, so pushing um, and, and Ireland as well. I've, I've recently come from a um, machine tool company as a sales representative, um, but pre that, uh, I wasn't in sales, so I worked um, as a CNC machinist at a precision company in Solihull. Um, and then I did my apprenticeship and worked at that company for about eight years as well. It's just great to see young blood coming through in our industry. Young blood that's done an apprenticeship, you've, you've, you've touched and felt metal and cut it, so you, you should be well placed to actually uh, service the industry with these machines then, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it almost comes across a bit of a rarity at the moment at our age, but I do think there is a recent push with apprenticeships and things like that. And uh, yeah, I think we need more of us kind of around this age to be pushing it. Good, good. And tell us about the Victor product, in your opinion, then, since you've since you've been here. Uh, quite exciting to be to be part of this GMCNC um, venture. Yeah, genuinely um, brilliant. So, pre to being here, I'd I'd come across Victors. Um, they're quite well known up and down the country of being heavy, reliant machines. Um, and to be honest, it's all I've seen since I've been here. So, obviously, I've spoken to current users. Um, been into visits and proposing new machines and things like that and the main thing that everyone has to say about it is the longevity of them so people have got them from 20 years before and they're looking to upgrade their technology now but they're still happy with the machine it's still holding the still holding the same tolerances that it was back then must be one of the quietest service departments ever um, when you're involved in a company that sells victor products yeah yeah i mean don't get me wrong we've, we've got our service guy and we're, we're known for being reliable um, but we've got the, the spares, um, which, yeah, after 20 years, don't get me wrong, you're, you're still putting out certain parts of the machines and things like that, but it's good as well that we've got a stock here and we're ready available for that. And, and I, do, I do concur with that, having spoken to many Victor customers in, in the past decade, really, um, we, used to, we used to have that as a standing joke that, you know, the, the Victor um, service desk was one of the quietest service desks because literally these machines, they tend to go in and once they're installed, like they are at the moment, uh, moment. they just yeah. move around and they just keep cutting, don't they? And reliability is obviously massively important, but what about the technology that, that's in these machines? Because as I opened this, I mentioned the fact that um, they've just spent, or Victor have in, in, in Taiwan, spent 120 million US dollars on a state-of-the-art facility, haven't they? So they're obviously going places. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The investment is huge, not just from, well, from Victor themselves, but from GM themselves. Obviously, you've seen, we're putting out machines quite regularly at the minute, and it helps with having the stock. So we've got stock lathes, we've got VMCs, we've got a five-axis machine, um, all the latest FANUC technology. Um, we've got long med lathes, live tooling. Yeah, it's kind of one of them where we, we, we can have people come in at any time, and they're seeing real up-to-date machines. And even sometimes we look at Victor's and we think they're big, box guide way heavy machines and then we look at like the mp20 and you think that's completely the reverse isn't it really small diddy but still as i said in one of our videos at one of your customers it really packs a punch too yeah yeah definitely the, the mp20 it's kind of we've had some really really good feedback in the past uh, year or so with those where i think people are almost branding it like the pocket rocket now um, but it's the floor space that it's taking up so the, the the envelope on the machine is ideal for a lot of companies that are tight in their workshop and they they need they need to fit in as much as they can but also you're not sacrificing the power of the machine either it's yeah really really capable machine but it does help as well um, that we've got our own foundry where obviously it's all obviously within the investment that you've just said that they've done on their own facility um, with it being in its own foundry we know where everything's been At Victor we're not going to different companies outsourcing for spares and things like that it's it's Victor's own product uh, very confident in what you're doing here and I'm, I'm not surprised. I wish you all the success, um, Joe. Good luck going forward. Thank you. Cheers.